All right. So, um, Benivo, uh, named as a company, uh, comes from the word for uh, welcome in over eight languages. And we named the company like that because this is how we have organized services to help uh, all of the clients that, the clients that we have um, been working with over the last few years. Um, uh, across our product set, the objective of, uh, of our client services is to help employers um, deliver an outstanding uh, employee welcome experience. And uh, the way that we track and try to deliver on that for our clients is by a concept that we call the Employer Net Promoter Score, or the ENPS. And fundamentally, that is a measure of how likely uh, your employees are to recommend you as a company to their friends, their family, their colleagues as a great place to work. And, uh, and that's how we understand uh, the objective of, of our services. Thank you, Matt. This is Brian Friedman. I just want to tell you a little bit about um, how and why I got involved with Benevo. Uh, as I think some beyond this uh, webinar will know, I was uh, previously with the Form for its Patriot Management, and I've worked in the global mobility industry for oh, probably the best part of 40 years now. Uh, and in my time, I've seen some interesting technology, some interesting developments, but rarely have I seen anything quite as radical and as exciting as this. I met the, uh, the guys from Benevo through some work I was doing with a, a leading European business school. And what excited me about the Benevo, Benevo proposition is that it's not just focused at the 2%, 3% of employees who are uh, assignees. It's aimed at the 100% of uh, employees who start work. So what we've got is something that is expanding the market for everybody. Uh, secondly, what excited me is it's not competing with RMCs, it's actually adding value. Uh, and thirdly, it's providing uh, the latest technology to provide a really new and innovative service. So what we'll, I'll do is just talk you through it. There are actually three products that we offer, uh, mainly aimed at HR, but also with a substantial uh, focus on global mobility. If you look on the left of the screen, we offer a product called Spotlight. That is actually for employees even before they become employees. That is a service that is aimed at candidates, telling them about the location and the company where they will be working. Uh, the service on the right, which we call Welcome Plus, is an employee experience service uh, for new hires, for local new hires. Uh, so that is, if you like, the 100% the of the employees who start work. But what I really want to talk about today on this call is our service called Destinations, which is aimed at employees who are relocating, whether globally or nationally, to start work. So what is Destinations and how does it fit into the, the broader global mobility ecosystem? Well, think of destination services, think of destinations like this. Think of it as being a virtual global digital destination services. So no longer do companies need to either directly or through their RMCs find DSPs around the world. This is one global provider, uh, which is aimed at the more junior employees. It's a modern self-service experience. It's perfect for entry level movers, lump sum movers, graduates, interns, uh, call center staff, those sorts of people. But actually, it is such a cool service, and you'll see it when I show it. Many companies are saying, we will use this as the base level service for our more senior people, and then provide a white glove service on top with many of the more traditional DSP services uh, on top of what we provide. Um, we provide this service for an incredibly low cost. Uh, to give you an idea, uh, we provide the service for 12 months for less than the traditional cost of one day's home search. Uh, we have no setup fees, provided we have minimum volumes. Um, and as you'll see when we do a demonstration later, everything we provide is highly personalized, both to the company and indeed to the employee's experience. So there's two ways in which we work. We either work directly with a client, uh, for example, if we've sourced a client ourselves and we've got a direct relationship, and then we will liaise directly with the client and the RMC as appropriate. Secondly, uh, we work hand in glove with many of the leading RMCs already to provide services that we co-deliver. 
where we work together with the RMC, the billing can be done centrally, and we're fully aligned to other services. Uh, when looking at this service, we can be considered to be part of the RMC's supply chain as another DSP, but in our case, a virtual global digital DSP. Let me explain what we don't do, uh, because I think it's quite important in the mobility industry that people understand what strategy is, and the best test of strategy is to work out what is not on strategy. Well, what we don't do, we don't do policy work, consulting or policy management, we don't do cost estimates, we don't do vendor management, we don't do home purchase, service departments, lump sum, we don't do on the ground work, we don't do accompanied home search, accompanied school search, immigration, uh, we certainly don't do tax or shipping or expense management or indeed global mobility software. So we like to think we are not competing with an any RMC at all. In fact, as I've said, we work hand in glove with RMCs. So what is it that we do do, having told you what we don't do? What we do do is we provide hyper-personalized, hyper-local, hyper-relevant data. Let me take that jargon and maybe translate that into English. Typically, uh, if you like, in the old world, what people received was a guide to the city they, they were moving to. So if they were moving to a city, they'd receive a guide that says, what's it like to live and work in that city? Well, our view is that's not good enough in today's world where we can crowdsource information. What we provide is what is it like to live in that city, to work in that city, if you are an employee of that particular company and at that particular level? So, as I say, it is hyper-personalized. And I'll give you examples, but we do go down to the level of where do people like you tend to live, where do people like you tend to eat, shop, uh, even down to the level of what are the best jogging routes near the office or near the area where you live. It is a very sophisticated digital platform, but it is backed up with real life support. And that real life support lasts for 12 months. So any assignee, any transferee can make contact with us at any time during a 12 month period to get uh, real welcome support experience. So what are the killer features? Well, the first is the one I've just mentioned. We call it social insights. It's where we're providing information about the city where the employee moves but it's the social insight part is that we are saying not what is it like to live in that city but what is it like for someone like you to live in that city and we get that information by getting insights from the existing and the previous uh, peer group the previous cohorts of assignees we also provide digital rental market education so we can give people a lot of information about what is it like to uh, to live in an area, which are the best areas, which areas are safe, what the commute is like, where people like them tend to live. Uh, next, and this is, I believe, completely unique, is we offer a, what we call a pay later facility. We will actually pay the deposit and the first month's rent for assignees and then reclaim it from them on an interest-free basis over up to six months. We started the service because one of our clients, and this is a household name company that probably has got billions in the bank, said, could we offer this service? Not because they didn't have the cash to do it, but because it was difficult for them with payroll and all the other aspects. Whereas for us, we can offer this through our, uh, our funding facilities and provide instant uh, cash to landlords to sort out any rental deposit. We also provide, and again, this is all included in the standard price, a welcome gift, which is, um, uh, and if people are interested, we can send copies through to you, uh, which is a personalized, uh, very nice looking uh, box of, uh, of gifts, uh, including typically something like a, a voucher for a local spa or six month subscription to Netflix, something that will really make the employee feel uh, welcome and that box will typically include a welcome letter from the country managing director or the CEO of the organization and also a hard copy of some of the guides that we offer online as well for the location. So I've mentioned the social insights uh, which is really one of the most exciting parts of our system and I just want to say a bit more about it. 
We will be showing you a demo in a moment, but basically whenever employees see the red speech bubble icon that you can see on your screen here, they know that they are not just learning from generic data that everybody offers, but they are learning from very specific data that we have garnered from their colleagues in the same organization. So for example, this might be a screen that shows where to live. Um, and on that screen, you can actually look to see, well, people like me, we tend to live in, and then whether it's a one bedroom apartment, a studio, a two bedroom apartment, a three bedroom house, people like me, how do we commute to work? People like me, what sort of rent do we pay? Um, we also provide information on the cost of living. Now, we're not here uh, in any way competing with uh, a typical cost of living provider like MERS or Air Inc or ECA or anybody like that. Indeed, we partner with organizations like that. What we are doing is providing information on what their peers are actually spending. So what are they actually spending when they go shopping? What are they actually spending when they commute? Remember, we are typically aimed not at the uh, the fully uh, balance sheet uh, um, signees, we are aimed at the lump sums, the entry levels, the graduates. We provide information on public transport. How do people tend to get to work? Now, as many of you in the relocation industry will know, this can be a big issue because people might move to a town with false impressions. They might uh, be used to having a car or indeed a driver, whereas actually if you live in, say, the centre of London or the centre of uh, New York or the center of Tokyo, it may be that you don't want a car. We provide a lot of information on the work culture. What is the culture of the organization like? Uh, and we provide tips uh, from existing assignees uh, as to what the work is really like. Um, we also provide social culture. Again, what is it like in the, uh, for people like, the, like you in the location where you're going to live? What do people tend to do for fun? And we provide a lot of settling in information, which can really help when an organization needs to, to sell a destination to, to new movers. That's pretty much all I wanted to say, because I'm sure you're dying now to see the, the demonstration. So I'm going to hand over to my, uh, my, my colleague, Matt, who's going to take you through a demo. All right, so let me uh, move on over here to our uh, demonstration platform. Um, so we have our, um, our test platform set up under the name Stark Industries for the media savvy amongst you. Um, but before uh, going in and showing you a couple parts here, I wanted to just show one aspect that's a bit unique of what we're doing. So uh, each, um, each platform is unique to a client and that, uh, that follows all the way through to the branding. So um, for example, uh, both the, the registration pages and the entire product experience uh, in the product is branded uh, on, a, on a complete level. So to the font, the color, and the, the brand look and feel inside the platform to match the, the client's website. So um, the, the concept that we're working with here is that our service is an extension of an HR team's services and therefore uh, should be you know, consumed as part of work at that company. All right, um, so let's start where, uh, if you're moving, uh, you're usually most concerned, which is gonna be uh, around where are you gonna live? Um, now, when you've registered into this portal, we've collected a few pieces of information about you uh, uh, as, a, as an employee, your profile, um, that informs uh, the, the content and some of the information that is, that is displayed here. Uh, if you'd ever like to uh, refer back, and we, we do this uh, often in our uh, employee success team's interaction with employees, uh, clicking right here will give you a reference to all of the services that your employer is putting available to you. Um, so that includes um, mastering the rental market, um, which is what I'm about to go into, most important to do upfront, helping you find a new home, getting the financial assistance uh, that Brian was referencing earlier. Um, making sure you don't fall victim to fraud and scam, especially when you're booking online in advance. And then starting with your basics, right? Open your bank account, get your healthcare registration set up. Um, and we have some fun things on here. So in our welcome pack, 
the box uh, that, um, that Brian uh, was talking about earlier includes something special, which is a gift from the employer. Uh, that is for an experience in the new city and something to get the new employee um, just excited about starting the job and living in that place. And then everything more on to getting settled. All right, so let's look first at our rental market education. All right, so um, most important up front with uh, rental market education is to set some expectations. You have to know what you can get for your money. And, um, and we help you do that in context of uh, who, um, of your, uh, of colleagues like you. So of, you know, who, who you are uh, working at that company. So as you can see here, we've got uh, two sources of um, information regarding average monthly prices. Um, in red up top are uh, the prices that Stark employees like me have paid before, and in blue is what you're gonna find if you go and look at the public sources of, of information. So I selected London as a location here, so those uh, sources are Zoopla and Spare Room, um, feeding in for, for the rooms, the studios, the one beds and the two beds. But as you can see here, it's good news on the, on the budget end of the scale for Stark employees. They're managing to find rooms in a, uh, in a budget range a little bit less than the averages that they might find. So, so that's a good news story. Alternatively, it might be also important to understand if, um, you know, if uh, your office is located in a potentially more expensive part of town or if the, you know, the best commutes are uh, from areas where the prices tend to be higher, you might think you're going to pay one thing, but the reality is that you might need to budget for a little bit more. So, so uh, this piece of information is uh, helping you understand that. Same concept applied to commute time, um, just to, to connect you to the norms. What is, what is norm for, what are the norms for Stark employees like me? And you can see here that 57% are commuting zero to 15 minutes, which is a great commute. And if you go down to the method, most of them are, um, uh, most of them are taking the underground. So a short tube right away. And then there's a handful that are doing uh, walking or longer commutes on train. All right, to understand, uh, you know, what should I expect? Uh, Stark employees like me, this is a market for rooms. So that's probably where I should spend my time. I shouldn't look at uh, look for studios and one beds um, because the prices, uh, the prices here mean I'm probably gonna get a room. All right, so let's take another step forward. Um, we are now gonna go onto the map and take a look at uh, some suggested areas using the information about um, the information from my colleagues and all relative to my work location. So I've got my work location there and I say that I want to commute inside 40 minutes and uh, I really like to walk. All right, so if I like to walk, here's some, uh, some immediate areas that are good for me um, and I can get a little bit more information if I click on one. So I click on one, I can say, uh, I can see the ranges for rooms, studios, one beds, two beds. Um, the commute times uh, to work with the different methods of transport if I wanted to, to, uh, to make, change my selection there. Uh, this information is coming from Google Maps and transport and I, we also can see a uh, safety rating um, on that neighborhood that I've selected. So each one of these dynamically updates uh, according to the selection and if I find one that I like um, and I want to you know, save that to my preferred areas then I click up here and I say I'm interested in this location and it'll show me more. All right, let's, uh, let's take uh, another look. If I swap it over to public transport, 45 minutes, that's gonna expand my horizons um, and I can keep going. I can take a look at what the, um, what the, the price differences would be. If I'm uh, looking at a little bit farther away in Cricklewood, I, uh, same breakdown for monthly prices, commute time, uh, safety ratings. And over here in purple, uh, what I see here on the map is that these are popular areas for me um, based on the social insights data. So these are popular areas amongst uh, colleagues who are living and working at my office. All right, so let's say I found one that I liked myself and I'll take a, um, a tip from my, from my colleagues on another area. So I've selected two, place to live, um, and uh, next steps for both parties. So uh, over, to, over to you, uh, or me rather, the, the candidate. Uh, I should learn about the rental platforms and I've got two things that I can see here. Temporary accommodation, uh, options for a couple of weeks or a short period of stay uh, while I get my, my bearings straight, or I can jump right to looking at permanent places to stay. 
now it's this is an interactive process um, and I can search these uh, these portals um, and if I want a second opinion uh, on a listing uh, if I want to double check something and make sure it's not fraudulent or if it's real then I can paste the links here finally provide a review of your contract um, you uh, I can actually go directly here and look at the contract checklist. I can do this myself and I can also uh, ask for assistance from the team to, uh, to make sure that everything is looking good and it's a normal uh, rental contract. All right, I'll use this, um, this, uh, this turning point in the flow to show you uh, how one of our, uh, our pay later feature works. So I've got my place, um, I've got the contract uh, sorted out. Now comes the, uh, the part where I need to pay the deposit and first month's rent. All right, so we have uh, our standard pay later uh, service for exactly this purpose, and it works directly on the platform, um, and, uh, and it's very easy to do. I'll give you a little, give you a little preview. So um, first off, another piece of social insights, a comment from, from Kat, a uh, Stark employee like me, talking about uh, using the pay later uh, service, um, whether it was helpful. Um, and it looks like it's going to be. I see here what I need. I'll need my copy of my rental contract, um, a schedule of fees from the agency, a screenshot of how much I need to pay, and an email from the landlord summarizing the cost. So when I have that, I click apply. It goes into the module for uh, getting, uh, getting the funds uh, set up, and we do it directly here. So I put in information about the property, uh, I will say it is uh, flat number one at 100 Main Street in, uh, well, that said Houston, Texas, but if it wasn't a demonstration, I'd be a little bit more careful about it. And I'm going for a room. Great. Clicks on through to the next one. And this is where I put in the, the cost that I'm going to need to pay in order to secure this accommodation. Um, submit these in with the required documentation. Um, press go and it will create my a schedule of uh, repayments starting after I get my paycheck and I will then put in the steps of how to uh, how to receive the funds and that's it um, you do the whole thing on the platform there is a seven day a week team to uh, to assist with questions or if you get stuck on a step um, accessible by whatsapp uh, email phone um, and we're actually very soon launching a live chat on the platform all right, let's take a look at a couple of other things to get a, to get a flavor here. So um, we looked at uh, pay later and I'm in the bucket of uh, things to do before I arrive. So let's look uh, next at uh, the welcome pack. So I, I know I'm gonna get a welcome pack and I see here that I'm gonna get a gift in that welcome pack. And, um, and this gives me a little instructions on how I, can, how I can redeem it, a couple comments from employees on what they did. Um, and uh, this is the preview of how it looks here, right? So say I'm a cinema fan. I want to do my, my want to redeem for my cinema tickets. And all I have to do is pop in my email and, uh, and the redemption of that is, is on its way. All right, next off, if I'm coming internationally, I will need to have, I will get, need to get my phone set up. Um, so here's a bit of education on how to claim a SIM that we're going to provide. Um, and uh, answer a short questionnaire to make sure that this is the, the right step for me between national or international. And do I, how do I want the SIM? Do I want it sent to me in advance of arriving or do I want it sent to me after I arrive uh, at my new home? All right, scrolling more on down here, let's explore a couple extra applications of the Learn From Colleagues uh, Social Insights feature. So um, we'll do two. Let's look at the cost of living. So uh, I've got uh, in this article, a, a full breakdown of the basic living expenses uh, from people like me who have moved before. So uh, based on actual spend um, uh, from the last group of people who moved, they're spending about 100 pounds on groceries, 125 on commuting. Um, so I know that that's something that I should figure into my budget. And uh, I can see a tip from, from James, a, a colleague I'll be working with saying, London could be pretty expensive for food but more manageable if you buy in bulk and avoid, buying from, avoid buying from the express shops. All right, so a good, good tip. Uh, further down, I can get a, an overview of all the, all the grocery store options with a little price rating. I see Lidl on the budget end and M&S on the, on the premium end. Um, 
uh, advice on ordering takeaway food, how much I should expect to spend on public transport, um, where I can, ex how much I can expect to spend on, on my utility bills, um, and on down. So all your, all your categories of budget, your TV and internet, um, entertainment, basic things to do, how much a beer costs, um, and uh, right alongside that, a number of tips on how I can, how I can save money. All right, um, we collect ongoing feedback on uh, all uh, content and data on the platform, how helpful it was, um, so you can score it. And uh, after you score it, you can submit a, a comment uh, about other things you want to see, other ways that we can improve. All right, same type of concept applied to uh, not the city, but this time working at the company. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, about to start working at Stark Industries and uh, Stark Industries here has provided a bit of uh, guidance on, uh, on what to expect and how I can make that a success. Um, along with the same thing, comments from, from colleagues um, and uh, you know, tips for me getting started as a new employee. So Mark from Spain is saying the career progression is a lot quicker um, than in the Berlin office. So be prepared to work hard with long hours, but feel the rewards and, and feel recognized. I can see that it's multinational. Um, I can see what most people are doing for lunch. And uh, like this, I can visualize a little bit of what my daily life is gonna be like uh, after I complete the move to, to the city. All right, um, I'll give you a quick glimpse on the where to live. Um, where to live, we, um, we step through uh, in, the, in the rental education module, a bit of the same um, themes. Um, so this is just a different way to consume the same data. I can look at uh, prices and commutes for different recommended areas to live from coworkers, along with anecdotes um, and recommendations for what places are nice. So uh, Chris here saying that, uh, uh, that, that we are in Hampstead is a nice residential area close to big parks like Hampstead Heath. All right, same concept um, applied to items that are relevant after you arrive. Um, and as you can see here, these modules are powered by checklists. Uh, checklists are dynamic in terms of uh, tracking. So uh, for, the, um, for, the, for the user actually going through the, the flows here, you can tick off things that you've read or learned or completed, and it shows up in your done pile at the, at the bottom of the list, which also informs the reporting back to, uh, back to employers on where uh, employees are in their journey. So we can actually provide a fairly clear picture as to who's on top of all of the tasks related to moving, who's a little bit behind. And uh, in the cases of volume recruitment, this is actually a very good tool for tracking who is engaged with the process of starting at the company and who the recruitment team might want to intervene with. All right, um, one last piece of social insights example on the open a bank account um, module. So we've got uh, three recommendations um, based on coworker input. HSBC, uh, Barclays, and Lloyd's, uh, alongside instructions on, uh, on how you need to get your bank account set up. Easy to follow and uh, broken down into steps one, two, three, four. You can toggle between the three providers and, uh, or the three recommended providers. Um, make a selection that hopefully uh, these ones are gonna be a good fit for you, uh, or uh, ask for more information from the, from the Nevo team on, on options outside of these three. Uh, a very important concept for information delivery on our platform is that we are not a, uh, a marketplace with a fixed number of suppliers. We are a, an educational platform to enable better self-serve and to enable uh, employees to, you know, to be successful managing uh, moves themselves. Okay, so um, we have dedicated sections up here to cover uh, the important parts of, of rental advice. This includes um, the, all the places that you can find accommodation on the market in a given city. This is dynamically populated per city that you register to. Um, and of course, very important information on avoiding scams, which is especially relevant for people booking accommodation in advance before arrival. Um, and, um, and we provide a lot of resources and team assistance to make sure that, uh, that our clients' employees are transacting safely and are following best practice. Great, so I think that's a, a bit of a glimpse that I wanted to provide uh, in, in this demo. 
Um, um, you can see the you know, applications of the social insights data in uh, all kinds of themes from settling into London life um, to uh, food and drink culture and fun things like trips outside of the city. So great, I think that uh, now we are going to flip over to the audience and uh, take some questions. Um, and I'm just going to uh, pop back over here to our, uh, to